हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट एंड प्रिपेयरिंग वेल फॉर योर अपकमिंग पी यू बोर्ड एग्जाम्स सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वील बी द टॉपिक इज हाउ बोर्ड एग्जाम कॉपीज आर चेंट सो दिस इज द मोस्ट कॉमन क्वेश्चन दैट स्टूडेंट्स हैव दे वॉन्ट टू नो हाउ द टीचर्स हु आर करेक्टिंग दीज पेपर्स चेक द कॉपीज सो इफ यू नो एग्जैक्टली हाउ दिस इज डन यू कैन राइट योर आंसर्स इन अ प्रॉपर वे सो दैट यू कैन गेट मैक्सिमम मार्क्स सो in today's video i'll be trying to cover some common queries that students have regarding uh, how to write in your answer papers so for this video i have done a lot of research i have spoken to teachers uh, who have actually done the correction i have taken their inputs i have gone through the guidelines given by government of karnataka for valuation of answer papers so with all that research uh, i'll be trying to uh, answer all your common queries okay so uh, i am also going to share few tips in this video which will definitely help you increase your marks maybe 10 to 15 marks you can simply increase by following these small tips that i am going to share in today's video okay so first first thing is i would like to discuss some common questions that students have okay let's look at them uh, so the some common doubts are Uh, some students always come up with these things can teachers cut marks on their own Do, does teacher have the right to cut marks if he doesn't like the answer can he cut the marks let's let's look at them i'll i'll solve each of them one by one next we have partial marking is partial marking there in board exams like do we for a five marks question do we get one mark two marks is it there and the next is is paper checking done strictly or loosely does the teacher who is correcting is going to do it very strictly or just just he is going to uh, glance at them what what is the thing that the teacher follows and does presentation help increase marks okay this is also one common uh, common doubt students have if i write it properly can i get more marks and how to write your answers in a proper way so as to maximize the marks so uh, moving forward i'll be discussing each of these queries one by one we'll be going in detail and we'll be going to understand how exactly valuation is done okay first thing yeah first thing is the answer key there is a answer key that is released by government of karnataka okay so as you can see here this is the scheme of valuation for mathematics so you can see here for mcq questions either the student has to mention the option b or he has to write symmetric either of in either case he is going to get one mark okay and if in this case as you can see they have asked some uh, definition like what do you mean by coinitial vector if the student is writing this or similar to this he this teacher has to give him one mark and uh, we'll see more uh, more answers so as you can see here this is a two mark question so first he has written the sample space and then he has written the the table the distribution table so there is one mark for this step and one mark for this step so teacher has got no right to cut the marks on his own if the student has written whatever is mentioned in the answer key the teacher has to give the marks okay teacher cannot cut on his own similarly let's look at the physics paper this is again government of karnataka uh, scheme of valuation so as you can see here this is a two mark question here they are asking you define magnetic dip and declination at a place so this is the definition for the dip and for declination uh, they have given here two two definitions if either of them the student is writing the teacher must award marks if you are writing something other than this then you will not get any marks so if you are sticking to the standard answers you are definitely going to get marks and you will not lose marks i think this first query is clear coming to the second query partial marking is partial marking allowed say if i write five marks do i get one mark for just writing mentioning it mentioning whatever is given in the question or if i solve the uh, question partially do i get partial marks yes let's look at them so this is a maths question so here you have get, got a differential equation uh, first in the first step you are writing the differential equation and in the second step as you can see uh, as you can see in the second step he has done the differentiation is being done on both the sides here you get d square y by dx and dy by dx and uh, you substitute those values and you get this so yes as you can see for each step there are marks this is one mark for this step one mark for this step so if you have done only these two steps also 
you will get two marks okay so partial marking is there in board exams let's let's look at one more thing this is a physics question so here uh, they are asking you to derive the expression for motion emf indu motional emf induced in a conductor so and so so first thing is if you have done a proper labeled diagram then one mark is fixed you are definitely going to get one mark even if you are not going to do all these things you are going to get one mark so always have the diagrams properly written and try to write your solution step by step so that it becomes easy for the teacher who is correcting it and you can easily get the marks moving on okay so whenever you are writing your answers in your answer sheet always try to have the content that is relevant in your ncrt book so the diagrams especially this this clip i have taken from the valuation like the, the official valuation that is released by government of karnataka so here you can see this diagram this diagram has been picked from the textbook okay see the blue color kind of diagram this is their ncrt textbook so even whatever is there in ncrt whatever points are mentioned in ncrt are very important okay so if you are writing those points you are not going to lose marks say some biology related question if there is some descriptive question so you can write your answer in points so the points try to have those points from your ncrt textbook that is going to help you get maximum marks and that will reduce your chances of losing any marks so always the golden rule stick to ncrt next thing does presentation increase marks okay yes i would like to make this very clear presentation increases your marks if you are presenting your answer in a good manner that is definitely going to help you get more marks so how can you present your answer in a like the way in which you can get maximum marks the first thing is use the keyword technique what is this keyword technique say you are writing some biology uh, answer write the answer properly in, in properly in points in those points some keywords you can underline here as you can see they have underlined biocarbonate of calcium magnesium so and so here chlorides so and so whatever is important you can just underline no need to use different color pens you can use only one color pen that is blue color pen and the keywords whatever some keywords in a sentence you can just underline them so why you should do this thing is if even though if the the person the teacher who is going to correct your papers if he if he is able to look at these keywords he is directly going to give you award you marks even though you have not written it 100% correct but you have underlined some keywords there is a higher chance you getting the complete marks and not losing any marks so don't forget this keyword technique next some students i have seen they do some some space on the left side of the paper and they do the calculation there okay i would suggest you not to do this calculation like small calculation if you have some multiplication 105 into 45 or you have some division 100 divided by 25 or so and so some some calculation some small calculation i would suggest you not to do it on the answer paper i would suggest you to do it on the last page the last page you can do all these calculations in the rough okay avoid this this will keep your answer neat okay that is your aim next one more thing is you need to keep in mind this always attempt the paper in order see what does this mean is you can pick any of the section first you can do section b then d section c then e then a no issues but when you are doing section b have a proper order if you are doing 21 then do question number 23 then do question number 24 so and so okay no this is this is the correct method but don't do like this first you are doing question number 25 then you are doing 21 22 don't do this okay this will this will become hard for the teacher who is going to correct so always try to attempt the paper in order okay this is one more rule that you should must you must follow next coming to is paper checking done strictly or loosely this is again one more common query that students have so i have spoken to teachers who have actually done the correction and they tell me they have told me that their aim is to help students Uh, get more marks okay they they uh, they want the students to pass the exam okay their aim teachers try try to give more marks okay if the student is failing they help him to get more marks say if you don't know some uh, some question okay i would suggest you to not leave it blank what you can do is write anything that is related whatever you know about that chapter you can just write it there the teacher can award you at least one or half mark and this 
marks can help you to gain can help you pass the exam so always follow the rule try to fill your answer okay and i think this is the last tip i hope i have uh, solved all your common queries that you have and uh, if you have got to learn something new from this video don't forget to press the like button and uh, share these with your friends so that they it helps them as well to get more marks in their board exam yeah thank you